good morning my dear students today i am present here to teach you your fast prose of english subject chapter 1 the portrait of a lady which is written by kushwant singh before going to explain the prose my dear students a brief about uh, our writer kushwant singh so my dear students this is a picture of our writer kushwant singh who was born on 2nd february 1915 and was died in 20 march 2014 this kushwan singh was an indian author a lawyer a diplomat a journalist and a politician he also involved in the freedom fighting to throw back the britishers from our country and his experience in 1947 that is the movement of uh, partition of india inspired him to write one novel train to pakistan in 1956 Later on, Kushwan Singh Train to Pakistan was uh, made into movie in the year of 1998. And uh, this uh, Train to Pakistan was also become famous among all of his novels. so kushwant singh as a writer writes so many novels prose and our present prose the portrait of a lady is one of the important prose of kushwant singh so my dear students before going to start uh, the prose line by line today i'll give you the or i will explain the theme of the prose the theme of the prose is that uh, as you know the fact that uh, the generation gap is not an unsurpassable gulf which is characterized by the fact that a wave of nostalgia overpowers us when we think of the simple and serene days of our childhood spent with parents and grandparents we might grow up and grow apart but the morals and principles instilled in us by the older generation refuse to die it means uh, the moral principles manner and attitude taught by our grandparents will still remain in us which is refuse to die as we grow up various tasks and internal interest attracts our attention leaving us with little time to realize that we might be the only interest of someone in our family 
if the birth of a grandchild leading to boundless joy for grandparents is reality in every nook of the world it is also true that uh, the grandparents attention will invariably be taken over by other things fretition we end up being so busy that uh, those silent steps the old ones take to retreat from our lives are rarely noticed the story by kuswam singh is an attempt to celebrate those childhood years spent with his grandmother when the simple pleasures of chatting of guru bani and filling the dogs and feeding the dogs kept the jo busy there might not be anything dramatic in their routine but the way the grandmother took care of the smallest of his needs and worked for his education shows the depth of their relationship but as it is true of every good things this bonding had to face the test of time when the writer's parents took both of them to the city throwing them out of their humble abode into a city which took the attention of the salt and own them a little apart every passing day so my dear students will see the various phases of the relationship carefully and see how the grandmother slowly withdraws herself when she finds her grandson participating in activities and hobbies that she did not approve of with time the philanthropic nature takes over and she devotes all her time in taking care of animals and spending her time in fraying so my dear student to understand to understand the story properly we have to analyze how circumstances may change our lifestyle and look into our own lives to see if we may be paying less attention to some people and think of ways to rectify it this is i talk about the theme of the pros the portrait of a lady my dear students let us start the pros so before that you should have to notice this expression the following expression in the text and we will have to find out the meaning of this expressions the expression sir the thought was almost revolting an expense of pure wide serenity a turning point accepted her seclusion with resignation a veritable bedlam of syrupings tribulous rebukes the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum this expression we will be able to find out from the text while we explain the text my dear student let us start the text so as you see the kusub kuswan singh 
started this prose in the autobiographical manner here you see my grandmother my means kusuan thinks so kusuan thinks write himself this is a this is the first sentence is the autobiographical tone of the prose so let us explain the prose my dear, my grandmother kusuan singh told to us like everybody's grandmother was an old woman she had been old and wrinkled for 20 years that i had known her people said that he had once been young and pretty and had even a husband but that was hard to believe my grandmother's grandfather's portrait hung above the mantelpiece in the drawing room he wore a big turban and loose fitting clothes his long white beard covered the best part of his set and he looked at least a hundred years old he did not look the sort of person who would have a wife or children he looked as if he could only have lots and lots of grandchildren as for my grandmother being young and pretty as for my grandmother being young and pretty the thought was almost revolting she often told us of the games she used to play as a child that seemed quite absurd and undignified on her part and we treated it like the fables of the prophets she used to tell us so my dear students kuswan singh told us that uh, his grandmother is like every who is an old woman so kuswan singh's grandmother had been old and wrinkled for 20 years that the writer known her people of the society where kuswan singh belongs said that uh, the grandmother had once been young and very much pretty and had even also a husband but uh, that was hard to believe to kuswan singh because kuswan singh singh's uh, grandmother had been old and wrinkled for 20 years that the writer known her so it is hard to believe to kuswan singh that kuswan singh sir even had a husband also kuswan singh's grandfather's portrait kuswan singh's grandfather picture was hung above the shelf above the mantelpiece in the drawing room and his grandfather wore a big turban and loose fitting clothes like pajamas like punjabis and his grandfather's long and white beard covered the best part of his chest and he looked 
at least and the Kuswan Singh's grandfather was looking at least 100 years old in the picture. He did not took, he did not look the sort of person who would have a wife or children. So, as someone see the picture of the father of Kuswan Singh, then guess no will believe that uh, Kuswan Singh's grandfather is not looking like the person who have uh, a wife or grandchildren, wife or children or grandchildren. That uh, the picture is looking like nobody can believe that uh, he had uh, children. That uh, it cannot be a fact that uh, while observing the picture of uh, father of the Kuswan Singh that. Uh, the grandfather could have only a lots and lots of grandchildren only. He could not have even wife or children. He only have the grandchildren. So as as the Kuswan Singh's grandmother was very much young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. So the thought is that the grandmother is the wife of Kuswan Singh. It is almost revolting. It is disturbing. It is extremely unpleasant. It is hard to believe. And Kuswan Singh's grandmother often told them about the games that the grandmother used to play when the grandmother was a child. Because and which is seem to be quite meaningless, worthless on her part, on my grandmother's part, and we treated it, and uh, Kuswan Singh treated uh, it uh, like the fables, story of the prophets she used to tell us, story of the prophets. The grandmother used to tell the writer. So, in this paragraph, we have come to know about uh, the physical structure of uh, the grandmother of Kuswan Singh and uh, the structure, the picture of uh, the writer and how the writer used to talk with his grandmother we have seen here and her grandmother was very much pretty and young that as compared to the grandfather of the writer. So, my dear student, for today, this much only, I will start uh, my next class from the next paragraph. Study at home. While watching my video, you please take the reference of your textbook. I am going to conclude my class today.
have a good day take care